What is up, YouTube? We're here today going to show you guys how to install Windows Longhorn Build 5048 in Rotrobox. Build 5048 is the very first, or at least one of the very first builds of Windows Longhorn to be part of the milestone. Well, it's not really the milestone, but the post reset builds, which are known as Omega 13, which later became Windows Vista. So, without further ado, let's get this started. So, the first thing you need is Rotrobox, and the second thing you need is the ISO from our PC so let's get this started so we're gonna click on new and we're gonna type in Windows Longhorn build 5048 you gotta set it to Windows XP 32 bit if you try to set it to Vista it's not gonna work it's gonna give us a blue screen so make sure you set it to Windows XP 32 bit and then hit next and I'm gonna bump up the ranch to at least one and a half gigabytes and then hit next create next next and I'm also gonna change that to 20 gigabytes create then click on settings storage click on the empty disk and you're gonna look for that Windows Longhorn Bill 5048 ISO and then hit OK and then hit start Now, this build uh, requires you to actually format the partition in command prompt because uh, in the partition screen, uh, it's going to say it's not supported. And if you try to click on next, it's going to like cause the setup to crash and then it's going to do a reboot loop. Well, it's going to reboot the system. So. So the first thing we do is we need to fix that by going to the command prompt. So as you saw we have the new Windows Longhorn boot screen. And as you can see it's going to start setup but we got to do a couple of things first. Now when you get to the screen just hit shift F10 to bring up the command prompt and we need to type in disk part. Then type in list disk. It should be set as disk zero. So we need to type in select disk zero and then hit enter and now it's going to be the selected disk. So now what we need to do is we need to type in clean and then type in create partition primary and then hit enter and now type in format quick and then hit enter. It's going to format the drive. And then what we need to do is we need to type in assign letter equals C. And then hit enter. And now you have successfully created the partition. So now I can close out the command prompt. And we're going to actually reset the virtual machine. So it's going to restart the system once again. As you can see, Windows code name Longhorn. Copyright 1985 to 2005. And now uh, we should see uh, something like it's now supported. So when you get to the screen, just click on continue. And now you have to type in your proto key. So this will come with the ISOs. It's inside that 7 zip file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. So I'll be back. When you get to the license agreement, just hit yes and then click on continue. We're just going to type in the computer name as Longhorn 4051. You can also leave it like that, but we're just going to click on continue and then hit continue. And now you can actually see it's now supported. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on continue and now it's going to copy file. So just to let you know that if you don't do this, uh, it's going to give you like an unsupported error. And if you try to click on next, it's going to crash. So so that's why we had to uh, reset the system after we did the command prompt. So yeah. So now it's going to copy files. So what I do is I need to go ahead and pause the video. So I'll be back. Now it's ready to restart. So go ahead and click on finish. And then it's going to restart the virtual machine.
As you can see, we're restarting the virtual machine and do not hit any cue to boot from the CD, otherwise you'll go to a constant loop. So that's one of the reminders I gotta keep telling you guys about. Is don't hit any cue to boot from the CD or you just go to a constant loop. As you can see, now we're booting into the hard drive. It says Windows code name Longhorn. And then uh, it should continue. And as you can see on the bottom right it says Microsoft Windows Longhorn Build 5048. So, as you can see it's going to continue the setup and then we should complete this. This, this is the second phase of setup. So, so we're going to let it sit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video so I'll be back. Now it's ready to restart. So it's going to sit at a black screen with the watermark in it on the bottom right. And once again, do not hit any key to boot from the CD, otherwise you would go to a constant loop. So, as you can see, once again, Windows code name Longhorn. By the way, this build is compiled in uh, evaluation mode, which means there's no BIOS date required. BIOS date in case is April 2nd, 2005. And as you can see, uh, we are starting up. Windows Longhorn, as you can see, we're at the welcome, we're at the login screen. It says Windows is starting up, and that's going to apply computer settings, and then we should be going into the desktop. It's going to apply the theme, so. There you go. It's gonna take some time because I'm on a, I'm on a all-in-one computer, so performance may be different from your end. If you actually have an SSD, I think it should probably go quicker than what you're seeing here. So there you go. And that's gonna literally bring up the login screen now is going to automatically log you in and then we should be getting into the desktop it should already have clear type uh, in, it should already have clear type uh, set up and as I do personalized settings and we should be getting into the desktop and as you can see on the bottom right it says Microsoft Windows codename Longhorn build 5048 so there you go well what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pause the video so I'll be back. And as you can see, you have successfully installed Windows Longhorn Build 5048 in VirtualBox. If you type in WinR and type in Winver, you should see that we have successfully installed Windows Longhorn Build 5048 in VirtualBox. I'm going to make the screen bigger so uh, you see better. Do 1024 by 768. It looks better this way. So that's it, folks. So that's how to install Windows Longhorn Build 5048 in VirtualBox. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also follow me on Twitter at RubenOpportunity17. Also follow me on Instagram at Ruben the Transit Fan. So that's how to install Windows Longhorn Build 5048 in VirtualBox. So. Oh, see you next time.